Police are still trying to determine what happened to Kaysen Jackson Tuzolana at an apartment complex on the city's south side. That's where Jason Allen is live tonight with the details. Jason. Yeah, Gilma, the toddler lived in East Fort Worth, but his family told us that his mother's boyfriend was watching him and his sisters back here. And they said whatever happened, they don't believe it was an accident. Just weeks before his third birthday, Kaysen Jackson Tuzolana's great grandparents received a call Saturday that the boy fell and hit his head. And before they could get to the hospital to see him, he was gone. She had left him with her boyfriend. He was, he was supposed to have been babysitting all three of the kids. We confirmed the same night the boy died, Fort Worth police took a man to jail who matched the family's description of the mother's boyfriend. He was there on five warrants, most from out of town. However, the jail told us the 23 year old man is no longer in custody. It seemed like that it was some foul play. We don't know exactly what happened, you know, but uh, they just don't believe, we just don't believe that he fell and hit his head, and that was it. The boy had been with his grandparents the previous weekend for the Easter holiday. Now he's gone. The family said his three year old sister is with another set of grandparents, and a 10 month old sister is with State Protective Services. He didn't really cry around us, and, you know, he was a sweet little kid, you know, and, uh, for somebody to do him like that is just, it's just devastating. Police told us that they are waiting on the medical examiner to determine exactly how the boy died. We asked if any of these warrants the man was arrested on were in any way connected to this case, but police could not answer that question. Live in Fort Worth tonight, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.